Hi, and welcome to this Smart Controls Explained series. In this video, we're going to do an overview. Let's take a look at how we get into Smart Controls and basically how they work, what they're about. Now, numerous ways to enable them. We'll go ahead and take a look at these. You have a button up here in your control panel, Smart Controls. And as I have nothing set up on my channel strips yet, you're going to get this thing that says insert a plugin on the tracks channel strip to use smart controls. You can refine screen control mappings in the smart controls inspector, and we'll learn all that. Now, speaking of the inspector, you are not going to get this unless you are in preferences, whatever. If you haven't done this, you need to go to preferences, advanced tools. This has to be enabled. This check box has to be checked. Otherwise, you will see none of this and you will not have nearly as much fun. I've got a software instrument track selected right now. You also, the difference between the software instrument track and the audio track is that you can instantiate an arpeggiator in the MIDI FX area over here. So we've got audio track right here. We've got this. Let's go ahead and take a look. We can go up to the view menu and we can hide smart controls or the letter B. So basically, probably throughout most of the tutorial series, I'll be using the letter B toggle this back and forth, but I'll show you another way or two here as well. All right, so letter B, bam, bam. Let's bring something in. I've gonna, I'm have i going to start with an audio track here. I'm going to open up the library, and letter Y is the default key command for that. I'm just going to grab something, voice, and hey, it's a natural voice. And let's change our look here a little bit. And the library is showing the contents of our channel strip setting here, which is what we have. So We've got all of these plugins, DSR channel EQ, compressor channel EQ, echo, which is bypassed. You see, you now we can turn it back on, turn it off or bypass it. Let me go ahead and hide the library for a minute here. A little more view of what we want. I'm gonna hide the inspector as well. We're gonna save that for the next video. And let's just take a look at what we have here. So we have an interface and it says, hey, we've got a knob here that does compression. And as soon as we do that, we get a compare knob. We're gonna go back to how you saved it pair will take you back. What is it doing? Well, how do we know? Let's go ahead and I'm going to right click, control click. Either one does the same thing. Open plug in window. Let's go up to this and take a look. So compression. And actually it's been mapped to two elements, your threshold and your gain. Very convenient. We've got a de-esser. Right click, open plug in window. Natural voice. What's going to happen here? can see our strength is changing. It's the same as up here. Now, you don't have to necessarily click, hold, drag these, by the way. You can click at any location, including down at the bottom to the extremes to either turn it all 100% on or 100% off. Speaking of on and off, you do have switches here. And I'm going to switch this, and you can see a channel EQ. Which one is it? Okay, now it's back on. And you can see it's our second one here. So let's go ahead and control click here, open plug-in window. And boy, we've got a, all of them at the party here now. Okay, so two of them in this area. We had two, they're both being controlled in this area here, which is why we got both of them. So we can toggle this one and you can see it's changing here. And it's the gain right here on this shelf control. And what do we got? Mid frequencies are over here. Highs, ah, on the second, there we go. So they're spread out over two EQs. Getting quite the party here. Let's get rid of some of these people. Amount, you know, for echo. Well, let's open the plug-in window. You see, amount is basically affecting our wet down here. And goodbye to that one. So we have sins. Right click or control click, and it's grayed out. Open plug-in window. That's right, because those aren't plugins. Those are audio routing configurations. Here's our sins here. Bus one. Bam, all the way up. You can see it here. I can click down here. It's back down. So where are they going? Open up the mixer. Letter X does that. And we're on our channel strip here. Bus 1 is going into this auxiliary channel strip with a space designer and a channel EQ set up in it. And you have bus 2 with a space designer and a channel EQ also set up. Let's get out of that. Let's talk about two other ways to get into our smart controls. Once you have something instantiated, you can go ahead and double click up here. Bam, smart controls. And the same thing about getting rid of them. Letter B again, as I mentioned, you also have the big smart controls window. Right up here, we're going up to window, open smart controls or command three, and this is a float. 
So, you know, you're in the back of the room, got a client in the back of the room on the sofa, you know, whatever, they want to see settings. Boy, can you show them settings. Again, exact same window. Here's your inspector, which by the way, is going to be the subject of our next video. So let me go ahead and get out of this window. And let's go ahead and let's go to the software instrument ones here. And uh, you know, if I double click now, I don't get anything because I really don't have anything enabled. But let's go ahead and, and bring something in, channel strip setting. Let's try bass. Oh, let's do a uh, an upright baby bass. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the letter B and check out my smart controls. The graphics on here are really nice, actually. You have various low, mid, we're not gonna go seek out what they're actually doing at this point in time. We'll play with that later. But just to show you some of the views you have, let's go to an acoustic guitar and it looks something like that. You know, you've got the, uh, oh, the B3. And there you go, it looks just like that. So you're getting elements of your plugins. You know, let's see what we got for world. How about voice? And let's select uh, the voice here. So very pretty, beautiful wood grain here. We've got some buttons here we're gonna talk about too. And it's articulation ID, and I'll explore that later on in this video series. That's kind of the basic overview. You've got them, you've kind of seen how they work. They're all assignable, specific to what you want. And we'll explore the inspector, which is right here, and all the things you can do with that in the next tutorial. All right, thanks for watching this one. I hope you got a tip or trick out of it, and we will catch you on the next one.